hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to identify an optimal site for a solar panel installation using a raster calculator in RGIS Pro so now let's get started so now uh, let me explain about it for identifying an optimal site for a solar panel installation so identifying an optimal site for solar panel installation involves uh, determining a location that maximizes solar energy generation while considering various factors such as sunlight exposure, the terrain characteristics, land use and infrastructure. Some of the key uh, considerations are given here. So solar radiation, an optimal site that receives the ample solar sunlight throughout a year. So the analysis of the solar radiation data helps to identify in areas with high solar exposure, which is crucial for efficient energy generation. So the second is our terrain analysis. So terrain and uh, characteristics such as slope and aspect influence the, the solar panel orientation and efficiency. So the flat or gentle uh, sloping terrain with a favorable aspect angle that is from south facing in uh, northern hemisphere is preferable to a maximum sunlight exposure. And third is our land cover, an open area with uh, minimal uh, shading from vegetation or building or ideal for a solar panel installation. So analyzing the land cover uh, data helps to identify a suitable location such as fields, rooftops and unused lands. So next we have infrastructure and regulatory uh, considerations, environmental impacts and economic viability and community acceptance. So to identify an optimal site for solar panel installation, so we have used, uh, we're gonna use uh, two different layers so one is our uh, the slope uh, raster here and followed by we have our aspect raster so we're gonna use this both the raster to uh, identify an optimal site for this uh, panel solar panel installation for this specific study region so to do that we're gonna navigate to this option here that is geoprocessing so in that we're gonna move on to the favorite section here and we're gonna type the tool called raster calculator and uh, now let me search it so here we're gonna click the first result raster calculator so now here you can able to uh, see in the in this uh, left side there is three different layers one is of SRTM dem second is a slope uh, slope and aspect raster so in the right side you can uh, able to view we have our uh, tools here so we have variety of operators so you can take uh, we have conditional uh, statements here and math so there is a variety of tools that is available in the in this section here. So we can use the combination of this to, uh, these things to create a more complex workflow. And now we're gonna identify the areas for the slope uh, in degree less than uh, slope that is less than 30 degrees. We're gonna identify that. So for that we're gonna select our slope raster here. We're gonna double click. So once you did that, so we're gonna identify the areas with the slope uh, less than 30 degrees so we're gonna mention slope less than 30 you're gonna enter as uh, 30 so once you did that we're gonna navigate to the section here the output raster we're gonna choose uh, our folder location so now we're gonna enter the name uh, as the slope less than 30 so now I have mentioned as a slope less than 30 dot tiff and click save so once you did that, we're gonna navigate to the run option here. We're gonna click run. And now here, we are raster calculator is completed. So uh, we have our raster slope less than 30 degrees. So uh, it's uh, basically it is going to uh, going through entire uh, slope raster uh, image and find all the areas where the slope less than 30 degrees. So now we are looking at the slope uh, areas uh, with the uh, less than 30 degrees being identified here so when you take a look at this particular raster slope less than uh, 30 so i can able to visualize it gives me a zero and uh, one binary response uh, here zero and one so here the zero uh, means it's uh, not less than 30 degrees and the one means it is less than 30 degrees so here if you uh, zoom in uh, uh, we can see that most of the places are uh, less than uh, 30 degrees let me show you here let me turn this off here you can uh, take a look look at here so the most of the areas is uh, it is less than 30 degrees so now uh, next i could like to identify the areas for the slope uh, in degrees less than uh, 7 
So for that, uh, we're going to run the similar process here. We have navigated to our raster calculated here and selected our slope raster that is less than 30. So I'm going to change this to, uh, change to slope less, uh, less than 7. Let me enter that. So now I mentioned the slope uh, that is less than 7. Now let me select my output raster, a slope uh, less than 7. So once you did that, so now we're going to run it. We're going to click this option here, run. So now we have our result, the slope uh, less than 7 degrees. So these are the areas that is uh, slope less than 7 degrees. So the one here represents the, the slope area less than 7 degrees. And uh, the zero here represents the, the slope area that is uh, greater than 7 degrees. And now uh, let's make the zeros, the spots that are uh, not less than 7. Let's uh, give them a no color here. So we're going to navigate to this option here. We're going to right click and we're going to select no color. Let me turn this uh, layer here. So now here you can be able to visualize the the slope less than 7. Uh, the areas are being highlighted in green color. You can be able to visualize it. So our new raster that gives us uh, only spots that is less than uh, 7 degrees. It's uh, shown here. So the second uh, thing we're going to use is our aspect raster. So uh, let's say I also want to find uh, all the spots where the aspect is facing uh, kind of uh, south. So it has a good solar exposure. So for that we're going to use our raster calculator here. So now uh, in the raster calculator we're going to remove this condition here. So now we're going to select our aspect uh, raster. We're going to double click. So uh, and we're going to select the greater than symbol here. Let me select our greater than symbol and I'm going to enter as uh, 112. So, so the 112 uh, here represents the uh, because it uh, starts to put uh, put it from the southeast and uh, less than 247 before uh, it leaves the southwest. So here we're going to mention uh, now and let me mention let me select and here. And we're gonna select our uh, aspect raster here once more time. Let me double click. So here I'm gonna uh, mention as uh, less than uh, 247. So we're gonna mention as 247. So the aspect is basically between uh, 102, uh, 112 and 247. And here in the output raster, I'm gonna mention as aspect uh, southwest. So let me enter as aspect southwest so here I have mentioned as aspect southwest dot diff and now uh, we're gonna click run here so let me click run and now here uh, we have some errors here so probably have made some mistakes uh, let me rectify it let me uh, go back to the condition here so make sure that you add a parenthesis around this uh, condition here so now let me add a parenthesis here so make sure that you add your parenthesis here in the last and similarly for this. So now uh, let's run this uh, condition here. We're going to click this run. So the raster calculator has uh, run. So we can able to view the result here, the aspect southwest. So uh, it gave me all the spots uh, that faces to the southwest uh, here which is great so uh, but here where the rest of the power that comes in now so the and operator that I have used to combines the the two aspect calculations so uh, maybe uh, I want to know uh, where the slope less than 7 and uh, and the aspect faces the southwest uh, because I am looking for uh, basically uh, looking for uh, a flat area to put in some solar panels so for that I can uh, use the raster calculator again so now I'm gonna remove this uh, condition here so to do that we can uh, we're gonna select the aspect southwest here we can double click and uh, we're gonna select the slope plus then 7 so now I'm gonna add a uh, and operator here so we're gonna select and operator here so in the output raster, I'm going to mention as flat southwest uh, areas. 
so let me mention as a flat southwest areas for finding the optimal location for solar panel installation for the specific study region so now here i mentioned as flat uh, southwest areas dot if so we're gonna run this tool so i'm gonna click uh, run here so now uh, let's take a look at this result so the raster calculator has run our uh, condition here so the raster uh, the flat southwest areas so it uh, gives me only the spots where uh, these two coincides that is the aspect southwest and the slope that is less than seven degrees so here we're gonna uh, make the zero spot uh, no color we're gonna click this option here and we're gonna add no color let me uh, deselect this raster here and now let me change some color here gonna add a blue color so uh, and uh, now we have only the spots where the aspect faces to the southwest and uh, and it's uh, relatively flat it is less than uh, 7 degrees so uh, we have basically uh, performed a suitability analysis and we have combined the factors such as the aspect and slope uh, raster to identify the optimal location for uh, solar panel installation and now let me turn on my SRTM dem here so you can able to clearly able to visualize the areas so that the optimal site for this uh, solar panel installations in this study region here based on our aspect raster we suggest our solar exposure that is uh, the high solar exposure for uh, for efficient energy generation and similarly the slope raster it is used to uh, to select uh, specifically the flat surface for uh, the solar panel installation so basically we have what we have done is so we have used our aspect and slope raster and we identified the a suitable site for our uh, solar panel installation using our uh, raster calculator in our gis pro so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like